Hello everyone, welcome back to the weekly meditation challenge. We are in the ninth slogan at this point of the 59 mind training slogans as articulated by Atisha. Um, this slogan is pretty self-explanatory. It's in all activities, train with slogans. So we're training with these slogans. Um, there are many, many different ones in this particular set. And what I encourage you to do is to flip through some of them. You can either find them online, or I know some of you have picked up the books either by Chogun Trungpa Rinpoche or Trala Rinpoche that go through all of these. Some of you may have even purchased a card set that has a slogan on each card that you can go through once a day, wherever you find them. I encourage you to flip through them and study them and memorize them because whatever is coming up in life, good, bad, happy, or sad, it can be joined with these slogans. And you may find that you are waiting in line at the grocery store and all of a sudden you're getting annoyed and a big overwhelming sense of frustration is coming up and a slogan pops into your head and you're able to relax. You're able to actually have empathy for the other people in line, have some sense of compassion, and your whole day actually feels a little more uplifted. So this is why we train in these slogans. We can memorize slogans that feel particularly relevant to us. You can flip through and uh, find maybe five or so that you particularly love and connect to. You can study those in particular, or just write them down somewhere so that you are reminded of what they are. And you can really see how they integrate into your experience. Because it's, it's nice to have like fun teachings, but it means nothing unless we're actually integrating these practices into our life. Trala Grimpache actually said in his book on Lojong, he said, every time we remember a slogan, it will automatically help us not to react to things in our usual habitual way. So we're slicing through our habitual mind. We're allowing instead for our open heart to pour forth and actually connect with others. So if we actually train in slogans with all of our activities, we're actually reminding ourselves to keep an open heart. We're actually reminding ourselves to connect more compassionately to others. That's why we do this. And there's particular slogans that people often recommend in addition to these um, 59 mind training slogans. Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche in his reading this week, he said, uh, may I receive all evils, may my virtues go to others. That was one slogan that he recommended. The other is profit and victory to others, loss and defeat to myself. These seem very heady to me personally. If you love them and connect with them, you could even um, think and reflect on them. I prefer, may I accept all suffering, may others be happy. What we're doing with these particular types of slogans is training ourselves to connect more authentically, to not always want only what me, 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 what I need and think I want, but instead to set that aside for a moment and say, oh, maybe I can actually try to be of help to others. Maybe I can take on their suffering or their pains and I want them to be happy. So may I accept all suffering, may others be happy. If you connect with that particular slogan, please take that on and try to reflect on it in your morning meditation practice. As you conclude your morning meditation, just Recite this to yourself, maybe a few times in your head, out loud. May I accept all suffering, may others be happy. If you prefer Trungpa Rinpoche's slogans, or if you want to take one of the slogans from Atisha and reflect on that instead at the end of your practice, fine. But the challenge this week is at the end of our daily meditation practice to take on a slogan, Atisha's, what Chogun Trungpa Rinpoche said, or the one that I just offered, may I accept all suffering, may others be happy. And to reflect on that at the end of our practice, to see if we can then begin to memorize it, to begin to integrate it into our life and see how it affects our everyday living. So that is how we can train with slogans this particular week. And I look forward to hearing how it goes. Please ask any questions you'd like on the Facebook group or by writing to me directly. Cheers.